Okay, here I'm doing a new fall lip gloss color. And I'm just doing a little bit um, because I'm going to put it in my little plastic container until I'm ready to actually put it in the tube. That will be a part two video. Here you see me doing my Versa gel and I'm adding all of my gels. My, this is uh, my vitamin E. Um, my flavor, I'm adding all of my oils flavor and everything and I have to mix, get that mixture going. You have to make sure you mix so that everything will be mixed in very well. That's what I'm doing here. You might get tired of mixing, but baby, look, you need all your stuff mixed in perfectly. And you want it the consistency of your choice. That's my flavor. And for this particular lip gloss, this flavor is um, Orange Dream. Um, remember the orange sickles? That's the flavor to this lip gloss. I might change it. I'm not sure why this is my first run. And I'm, I, that's the flavor that I used. All my lip glosses are uh, sweet, vegan free, cruelty free. They're very healthy for your skin. And here I'm getting my pigment. A little goes a long way, so you have to be careful. So I'll stop there. To see what color I get. See how little I put in there and that's the color I got from that, but I wanted a little darker. Excuse my fan if y'all have my fan on. But I do sleep with a fan on every night. Okay, you see how darker it got? I'm digging the color. I wanted like a... A flesh tone. I want to work on a lot of flesh tone colors for the fall. But this consistency, I don't think so. And like I say, you test it a little at a time, your colors, your pigments, so you can get the perfect color. I think this is it here. But to me, that consistency is a little too thin. I like it a little thicker. That's a little thicker than that. I don't like thick, sticky lip gloss. I like my consistency just right, so. I'm going to end up putting a little bit more versatile in there just to get it to where I need this to be. The keys is star, star, star. See, that's a little too runny for me. So here I, I'm just putting a little bit more. I'm gonna take a, a little bit. And 
the versatile by itself is very thick guys so you have to thin it out with your oils that's a little better that's uh i need to stir 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 that's the key guys stir get a good mixture in find your consistency and stick to it Tonight I won't be um, filling any tubes, but I will show you the tubes that I currently have. Yeah. Okay, these are my new tubes, my wine tubes. They're 10 milliliters, and this is my 8 milliliter squeezy tube. And that's my little cup. I store it up in until I'm ready to um, fill the tubes up. And that will be my next video. I will show you how I fill the tubes up. So I just made a small amount for the sake of the video. If anybody wants to know where I get my products, I have no problem sharing that with you. Just leave me a comment below. I have no problem sharing my, my product information with you all. And then we have a tight little seal on there. It keeps it fresh. Just um, tightening everything up. And that's my Bursa gel. You can get it from T KB Trading or um, that's my label. Put a label on there. Orange cream flavor. Um, you can get it. And that's my card. Thanks for watching, guys.